Hi there. When using this recording, please do it in a place that's safe, never while operating machinery, or if you have epilepsy. Thank you. Hi, this is Joe Tracy, and welcome to this guided meditation or hypnosis audio for unlocking your creativity. This meditation can be used by anyone looking for a creative boost or for a solution to their everyday life. And as you go through this journey, you will learn how to remove what is blocking you and your own creative vision. All I ask is you try to focus on this session and let your true thoughts and feelings flow without resisting them. And now to begin, let's move into a state of relaxation, a state where you can receive the creative and innovative ideas that lie in the depths of your unconscious mind. And you can begin by silencing your phone, or if you're using your phone to listen to this meditation, just allow yourself to change the settings so you won't receive any unwanted calls or text for the duration of this session. And now let's begin to settle in, in a place where you can be 100% comfortable. It could be anywhere that helps you to relax, perhaps a chair, a bed, or even a mat lying on the floor. And just allow yourself to focus on the sound of my voice and know that with hypnosis, you're the one that's in control and you can accept or reject the suggestions as you see fit. And just allow yourself to let in or accept whatever resonates with you during this current time in your life. Furthermore, remember to follow your intuition as it will easily guide you to where you need to go next. Now let's take in a nice, long, deep breath. And then slowly let it out. And then take in another deep breath. And then slowly let it out again. And once again, take in a nice deep breath as you allow both your chest and your belly to expand. And then slowly let that breath out again as you exhale. And noticing how much more relaxed you are right now compared to where you were just a few minutes ago. And now in your mind's eye or imagination, see yourself walking along a path in nature. And walking down this path, you come across a hammock that's tied between two strong trees. Now allow yourself to climb up into the hammock and just do this for the next minute or so. Good. You're doing good.
And as you pull up and lower yourself into the hammock, you find yourself going deeper and deeper down into relaxation. And continuing to lie down in this hammock, you find yourself lightly rocking from both left to right. And the gentle motion builds into a rhythm as you feel yourself continuing to go down deeper and deeper. And moving from left to right, you begin to feel a wave of relaxation flowing over your body. And the relaxation starts at your feet, relaxing all the muscles there, from the soles of your feet to the arches of your feet, as all the tension begins to be released from there. In fact, it seems like everything is flowing as nature intended as the relaxation climbs up and spreads to both your calves and your knees. And the relaxation now spreads from your knees, moving up to both your hips and thighs. And the relaxation begins to move further up to your stomach and your upper body as it's spreading both slowly and easily. And with each passing second, your body is reaching deeper levels of relaxation and it's now all coming together. And the relaxation now begins to spread from your shoulders down to your arms. And your muscles feel soft and malleable. And the tension you have been holding there just melts away as it's replaced by an amazing feeling of bliss. And then the feeling reaches your face, relaxing all the small muscles around your jaw, your mouth, and your eyes. And it's now going deeper and deeper, behind the eyes and up to your forehead, and then to the very top of your head. And everything feels so loose and relaxed as you feel a new sense of freedom now that your muscles are free from all the tension and the stress. And now every part of your body is filled with this wonderful feeling of relaxation and tranquility from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. And you feel so energetic and free to move about and to explore this world without the worries or the stress. And now that you've released the tension from your body, it's now time to take the next step and to move further. Let's take in another deep breath. And then once again, slowly let it out. And just allow this bliss and relaxation to cover you like a warm blanket as you feel safe, relaxed, and secure. And as the blanket covers you, you know it's time for a change time to allow your creativity to flourish. And slowly you focus on your thoughts and feelings as they come rushing in. And just allow them to pass. 
and try not to dwell or hold on to them. Just allow them to come up and pass like water moving in a creek. Good. And some thoughts may try to linger, and that's perfectly fine. Just allow yourself to keep focusing in on your breath as they will pass when the time is right. And whenever you catch yourself being distracted or feel your mind drifting, just come back to your breath and keep doing this for the next few minutes. Good. You're doing good. Now it's time to move forward 
to leave the bliss of the hammock and to rise up and to move forward on your journey, your journey to unlock your creative potential. And now focus on your body within your mind's eye and slowly climb out of the hammock and let your feet touch the ground. And your body feels free, feels strong, and you're free of tension and the stress. And everything is flowing freely with ease. In fact, everything is simply coming together and working out perfectly for you. Now take a moment to focus on your mind. And you're now open, receptive, accepting, and welcoming. That's a good place to be as you're ready to see things as they are. The elements that could be clouding your vision or your creative potential. And you're now letting the thoughts and feelings pass freely through you. And everything is going with the flow. You feel open, relaxed, and receptive. And you begin to walk ahead, feeling every step as you take, as you're now walking one foot in front of the other. And every time you feel your foot on the ground, you feel your deep connection to the earth, the good earth. And you're now ready to move even deeper to the next stage as we'll go down into the depths of your unconscious mind to help unlock your creativity. Now let's take in another deep breath. And then once again, slowly exhale. Good. And continuing your walk in nature, you find yourself moving downward from a hilly incline. And slowly you step down both carefully and easily. And in your heart, you know patience is the key. And you continue to take a few more steps. Slowly but surely, the next stop is coming. Good. And now focus on your breath and breathe in. And then slowly exhale. And once again, take another breath. And then slowly exhale. Good. 
and continuing to walk on this path, you see in the distance an old cabin with a garden. And slowly you find yourself getting closer and closer until you find yourself at the edge of the garden. And you're right there now. And allow yourself to stop and observe. And do this for the next minute or so. Good. You're doing good. And as you continue to observe the garden, you can see it has such great potential. And it could be great, it could shine, and reflect its beauty. And as you look closely, you notice countless marigold flowers spread all around. In fact, marigolds are often used as a symbol or metaphor for creativity. And the marigolds are beautiful, but for some reason they seem suppressed, and something isn't quite right. And as you take a closer look at the garden, you notice that it's now overrun with weeds and random debris. And the weeds seem to be consuming up all the precious resources. And the marigolds can do such wonders, if only they had the ability to thrive. And the garden must be cleansed of all these weeds and unnecessary debris. The weeds are depleting the energy from the marigolds and must be properly removed. And the burden must be released. And things must be allowed to flow so a clean state is established. And you begin to reach down and grab a weed. And you grip it and firmly pull. However, it seems to be resisting your efforts. It seems like these weeds are running incredibly deep. And all the years of neglect and increasing negativity has made a home in your garden of creativity. And they dug themselves deep, and they will not go without a fight. However, you're strong and determined, and you grab the weed again and begin to pull hard. And as you pull on the weed, you feel negative thoughts and disappointing beliefs about your ability to be creative coming up to the surface. And these weeds or blocks are trying to prevent you from pursuing your creative dreams. 
and you then recall the growth you experienced on the hammock, and you know you're stronger than this. You will let this pass, and will let these creative blocks dissolve for good. And then finally, the weed you have been pulling begins to come out. And you're already beginning to feel lighter, and your creative potential is ready to flourish. And with renewed determination, you start to remove the rest of the weeds. And allow yourself now to continue to pull out the weeds from the garden and allow yourself to do this for the next few minutes. Good. You're doing good.
and with each weed that you pull out, you feel the garden getting stronger and stronger. And it's already coming back to life. And the energy is being restored to the marigolds and the garden. And finally, you've managed to pull out the last weed as you find yourself getting lighter and lighter. And you find yourself feeling free and ready to express your own innate creativity. And as you look at your work in admiration, you see a cloaked figure and it slowly walks toward you and it's holding something in its hands. And as they get closer, you can gradually make out their features. And the person in the cloak is yourself, holding the box in their hands. And they push it forward towards you. And you don't need to talk. And you know the box is for you. And then you take a peek inside the box. And it looks like a light bulb. And you can tell just from looking at the light that it could help you to illuminate your creativity. In the cloaked version of yourself, begins to point towards the cabin and it's time to venture even deeper and to go to your creative center now in your mind's eye see yourself walking towards the cabin door and you're getting closer and closer and you're almost there Good. And you're right there now. Allow yourself to open the door. And as you enter the door of the cabin, you notice that it's incredibly dark and there are many rooms. Unfortunately, it's hard to make out what is inside. You then begin to explore by using your own intuition. And then finally you come across an old room with musical instruments, painting supplies, clay, fabric, and a whole range of other things perhaps even business plans. And why have all these things been left in the dark? All these items can be used to explore your own creativity. And there's so much potential here in the cabin, but it's hard to see. and continue to explore this room in the cabin. It almost seems like a treasure trove of untapped potential. And you notice that it was previously used before it became neglected. And now think back to your past how you saw the world with all its endless possibilities that existed within it. And this cabin can be the perfect place 
for you to explore your creative potential, to bring back that feeling of unlimited possibilities. If only you could see better, though. And continuing to explore the cabin, you make out what looks like to be a light switch, and you attempt to turn it on, but nothing's happening. And you then begin to turn your head, and you make out what seems to be a blown-out light bulb. And with the light bulb in sight, you begin to walk towards it. And do this for the next minute or so. Good. And you're right there now next to the burnout light bulb. And you begin to remove the bulb and replace it with the one in your box. And as you screw it in, you can feel a sense of anticipation. And you're now flipping the light switch. And suddenly, the entire cabin is filled with a warm, creative light. And your body begins to fill with an overwhelming sense of peace and new possibilities. In fact, it feels like a whole new world has opened up to you. A world filled with innovative ideas and creativity. And the tools are now all around you, and your creative path is cleared. And with the light turned on, it begins to open up a scene in your mind, a scene where you've reached your creative potential. And let's move forward now to that scene in your future where you're now in a state of flow and you're expressing your creativity starting now one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten. And you're right there now in a scene from your future. Where do you find yourself? Are you outside or indoors? Picture yourself in this scene. And what does your life look like now 
that you're living the creative life. How are you expressing your creativity? And what does your process look like? your skills now, now that you're in a flow state? And for the next few minutes, see yourself exploring your creativity, whether it's in the arts or even business, whatever resonates with you and your own life path. Good. You're doing good.
and you now look around the cabin and you begin to notice all the beauty that was previously invisible and it has a lot of potential and so much grace. And each moment that passes now opens up so many new paths and you can now explore it to your heart is content. Instead of one path, you can now see countless roads that each lead into different directions. All the possibilities and the thrill of experimentation. It's now all coming back to you. And the garden, the flowers, and the turning on of the light are the anchors of your journey. In fact, every time you turn on a light, your mind will fill up with many possibilities and ideas to express yourself creatively. And every time you see a flower or a garden, you will be reminded of what it takes to grow and to nurture your own creativity, to go with the flow, and to go with power instead of force. And you'll be reminded of the importance of using your energies to feed your positivity, and you're now free of any disempowering beliefs that could drain your energy or creative potential. And you'll rise above and see all the possibilities And the future ahead of you is full of so much joy and inspiration. And now to further bring you into alignment with your new creative self, here are some affirmations. You can say these out loud or in the silence of your own heart. Affirmation one, my own inner wisdom leads me to amazing creative ideas and solutions. My own inner wisdom leads me to amazing creative ideas and solutions. The universe and my own inner guidance supports me in unlocking my creative potential. The universe and my own inner guidance supports me in unlocking my creative potential. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm tapped into source and its unlimited possibilities. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm tapped in the source and its unlimited possibilities. I am fully open to the creative ideas that source is guiding me towards. I am fully open to the creative ideas that source is guiding me towards. I take great pleasure in being a creative and innovative person. I take great pleasure in being a creative and innovative person. I'm a magnet for creativity and astonishing new ideas are coming to me easily and often. I'm a magnet for creativity and astonishing new ideas are coming to me easily and often. I accept who I've been as I'm now stepping into my creative future. I accept who I've been 
as I'm now stepping into my creative future. In every day, and in every way, I am finding new ways to express myself and my creative potential. Every day, and in every way, I'm finding new ways to express myself and my creative potential. My own higher self is guiding me to new and powerful ways to express and receive creative ideas. My own higher self is guiding me to new and powerful ways to express and receive creative ideas. I attract wonderful new experiences that support me in my creative life. I attract wonderful new experiences that support me in my creative life. The people in my life support me in my new creative life. The people in my life support me in my creative life. I'm so happy and grateful for all the wonderful creative ideas flowing into my experience. I'm so happy and grateful for all the wonderful creative ideas flowing into my experience. Amazing ideas are flowing to me easily and often. Amazing ideas are flowing to me easily and often. I find great joy being in the flow as it's one of the easiest ways for me to receive new ideas. I find great joy being in the flow as it's one of the easiest ways for me to receive new ideas. More and more I find myself in alignment with my creative potential. More and more I find myself in alignment with my own creative potential. I appreciate all the amazing ways I can express my innovative ideas and creativity. I appreciate all the amazing ways I can express my innovative ideas and creativity. I'm so happy and grateful that my own intuition or inner guidance system is leading me to new creative solutions. I'm so happy and grateful that my own intuition or inner guidance system is leading me to new creative solutions. I am fully open to the ideas provided me from source or the collective unconscious. I'm fully open to ideas provided to me from source or the collective unconscious. I take great pleasure in being a creative and innovative person. I take great pleasure in being a creative and innovative person. I'm so happy and grateful that creativity comes to me easily and often. I'm so happy and grateful that creativity comes to me naturally and easily and often. Good. Now let's start again from the top. Affirmation one. My own inner wisdom leads me to amazing, creative ideas and solutions. My own inner wisdom leads me to amazing, creative ideas and solutions.
the universe, and my own inner guidance supports me in unlocking my creative potential. The universe and my own inner guidance supports me in unlocking my creative potential. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm tapped in the source and its unlimited possibilities. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm tapped in the source and its unlimited possibilities. I am fully open to the creative ideas that Source is guiding me towards. I am fully open to the creative ideas that Source is guiding me towards. I take great pleasure in being a creative and innovative person. I take great pleasure in being a creative and innovative person. I'm a magnet for creativity and astonishing new ideas are coming to me easily and often. I'm a magnet for creativity and astonishing new ideas are coming to me easily and often. I accept who I've been as I'm now stepping into my creative future. I accept who I've been as I'm now stepping into my creative future. In every day and in every way, I am finding new ways to express myself and my creative potential. Every day, and in every way, I'm finding new ways to express myself and my creative potential. My own higher self is guiding me to new and powerful ways to express and receive creative ideas. My own higher self is guiding me to new and powerful ways to express and receive creative ideas. I attract wonderful new experiences that support me in my creative life. I attract wonderful new experiences that support me in my creative life. The people in my life support me in my new creative life. The people in my life support me in my creative life. I'm so happy and grateful for all the wonderful creative ideas flowing into my experience. I'm so happy and grateful for all the wonderful creative ideas flowing into my experience. Amazing ideas are flowing to me easily and often. Amazing ideas are flowing to me easily and often. I find great joy being in the flow as it's one of the easiest ways for me to receive new ideas. I find great joy being in the flow, as it's one of the easiest ways for me to receive new ideas. More and more I find myself in alignment with my creative potential. More and more I find myself in alignment with my own creative potential. I appreciate all the amazing ways I can express my innovative ideas and creativity. 
I appreciate all the amazing ways I can express my innovative ideas and creativity. I'm so happy and grateful that my own intuition or inner guidance system is leading me to new creative solutions. I'm so happy and grateful that my own intuition or inner guidance system is leading me to new creative solutions. I am fully open to the ideas provided me from source or the collective unconscious. I am fully open to ideas provided to me from source or the collective unconscious. I take great pleasure in being a creative and innovative person. I take great pleasure in being a creative and innovative person. I'm so happy and grateful that creativity comes to me easily and often. I'm so happy and grateful that creativity comes to me naturally and easily and often. Now this meditation is coming to a close. Have a wonderful night and sweet dreams. <laughs>